Hey everyone, Dapper Driver here, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I wasn't sure what to do today. I know I'm posting a second video for today, but I wasn't sure which direction to go in. Um, normally, you know, I always have pack a days every single day, but then I usually do either a box opening or something big to open up on things, but I'm narrowing down my schedule where I'm gonna be doing pack a days every day and then. Uh, Thursdays and Saturdays, I will be doing a second video. But, I mean, that could be anything, so... Back and forth, I don't have a lot of product. I don't really have any product except for the single packs right now. I'm waiting to get my booster box and uh, stuff like that. So I think, for me, the best option today is actually to record uh, some PTC Geo. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. You know, I'll, I'll keep this on. Try try to do an attempt at a let's try to attempt to uh, edit you know put the face down at the bottom you know and and play so let's go ahead we're gonna start recording that so let's go over our deck list Alola friends Dapper Drappy here and welcome to another PTCGO match and deck list and all that jazz so we're just gonna go over what we have what we're gonna be playing today is a Sil Valley box deck basically. We're going to be playing Sil Valley, all those memories, and I'm actually mixing it up with some psychic types because I feel like that's that's where I want to play it right now. I mean, you could probably play it with a bunch of different types, ink, a bunch of different type of energies, give you different kind of things, you know. If you um, play fire energy, you have access to Kiawe. Um, you can change them to a electric type. You could use electrode. You can change them to a fighting type. You can use strong energy. There's all sorts of different ways to play Sil Valley right now. I think the most common is probably with Ho Oh or Volcanion. Uh, but we're gonna have we're gonna be playing four Sil Valleys, of course. We have the Sil Valley GX, the new one, and then we have the the same the shiny one from the box, and then um, two regular art ones from Crimson Invasion. And um, we're, we're mixing this up. We're playing a two-two split of the new type null and the old type null. The new one has Merciless Strike, which does 30 more damage if there's already damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon. And then does Headbang for uh, 70 damage, which is pretty cool. And then the old one does Armor Press, which is reduces 30 damage. Uh, and then Slashing Strike, Slashing Claw, sorry, Slashing Clock does uh, 70 damage there, uh, which is, I mean, also pretty good. I think, you know, having 110 HP, being able to attack for... 100 damage if you have a choice ban on you is pretty, pretty nice, I would say. Uh, you 60 for a DCE, you know, possibly 90 for a DCE. Uh, I like it. Type Null is pretty cool in this deck. Um, so, for general draw support, we are playing one Oranguru, um, with that psychic ability, with that psychic attack and instruct ability for those three cards, just when they're necessary. We're also playing Rayquaza, um, from, uh, Guardians Rising with that Turbo Storm be able to attach two basic energy cards from the discard pile to one of the bench Pokemon. We're playing a lot of psychic types who don't have a lot of good uh, energy acceleration. So we're hoping that, you know, we're playing Sophocles and Ultra Ball. So we're hoping to get rid of the um, the psychic ty psychic energies that way and then bring them back with, you know, with Silvalli and with Rayquaza. Um, and then it also does uh, Dragon Claw for 80 damage uh, for three colorless energies. Now, the main guy I love in this deck is Magirna here. Magirna does the change close. Um, once during your turn, you may put a Pokemon tool card attached to one of your Pokemon into your hand. So, the reason I'm playing Magirna, I would like to play a second one, but I think I'll be fine with the one, uh, is, you know, you want to be able to take off the uh, Type Null memory cards. I guess memory... It's, I, I guess they're called memories, aren't they? Uh, yeah, you want to take off the Type Null, uh, memories, and then switch it with another memory that's going to attack for weakness damage. Um, we do play two of every memory card. I think, oh, well, we might play only one, one fire, because I think we only have one fire. We only have one fire, so we're playing one fire, but two of the other three, um, which is fine. Fire, we're only going to need if we face off against a Galissapod or a, uh, Decidueye, but we should be able to find it still. Uh, but let's go back over what we have. We're also going to be playing one Dawnwings Necrozma GX for that invasion ability. Be able to 
you know, scoot in and then retreat. So Valley's always going to give this thing free retreat. Another great way you could play with this card actually is um, Altar of the Moon is also a good way to, uh, you know, keep it keep it so it has free retreat. Um, or a float stone. Most of you are going to play it with a float stone, but Altar of the Moon is also a very nice option. We have the nice rainbow version of it, which is pretty sweet. Um, we are playing one Mimic You, you know, Mimic You, Sudowoodo, they kind of have the same effect on things, you know, Copycat is good for that, uh, that good attack right after somebody, um, hits you for big damage, you can kind of Copycat them and get them, same damage on them, which is pretty sweet, Mimic You is good for that, um, we're playing one regular Necrozma as well, I have the rainbow of that, so why not play it, right? Um, with Lights In prevents all damage from, uh, colorless Pokemon, so Silvalli's aren't going to do a lot of damage to this, and, or any damage to this, unless it has a memory on it. Um, what that really protects against is, uh, actually doesn't protect against very much, does it? Yeah, there's not a lot of, uh, colorless that are wreaking havoc in the, uh, TCG right now. The Light Zen still does pretty well, you know, if somebody plays a Drampa, you'd be like, try to attack this. Um, Prismatic Burst is also pretty good if you have three Psychics. It does 180 damage, 160, 60 for each Psychic Energy you discard. So, 60, 120, 180, plus 10, does 190 if you discard three Psychic Energies off of it. Which is pretty nice, I would say. And then you can bring them back with Sil Valley, bring them back with Rayquaza. And then Black Ray GX is one of the most uh, sought after, I would say, uh, GX attacks. We were playing one Mew, Shining Mew, Shining Mew, um, for that legendary guy and spring those two energy cards, put them right on. That way we can get a Savali set up as soon as turn two if we start with Shining Mew. Um, and then finishing off our Pokemon count, we have, I think, three, yeah, three Tapu Lele so we can just get set up quicker. Um, it's really difficult for me to decide which way I wanted to play. It's like my home, my deck at home plays Nest Balls instead of Tapu Lele. So I play, um, instead of the three Tapu Leles and the Bridget, I play, you know, three Nest Balls and, um, a Mew EX. Um, which, Mew EX questionable, yes. Um, the reason why I thought about putting it in there is because it can copy your opponent's attacks too. So... You can copy a Zoroark, because if you have a bunch on your bench, just go ahead and attack for Zoroark's damage. Because it's going to be on the other side of the field 90% of the time. Um, but instead, I changed it up to a couple uh, three Tapu Leles. Um, also a different change. I used to have Rescue Stretchers and Super Rods and stuff, but I changed it to four Puzzle Time. Just because I think Puzzle Time is kind of a little more useful. You can get back your memory cards and stuff like that as well. Playing this general standard uh, four Ultra Balls. Um, playing two Bridgets, you know, so if one gets prized, we still have the other one. And we can actually bridge it any time in this deck because we have so many pieces that can um, kind of come in and out depending who you're playing against because we have 18 different Pokemon. Um, one, uh, Gladian, I like to know what's in my prize cards and get out the most important piece that's in there. So that's not stuck there. So I really like Gladion, and I love the full art artwork of Gladion. So I just I try to I try to tuck it in there, you know. It's like my town map, but I yeah I don't use town map. Uh, we also have one Lily, you know, in case in case we can't bridge it for his turn. Lily is a great option to get those eight cards in the hand. So and it's also really cool artwork. So we're just gonna go ahead and play with it. Um, we got one Olivia. Um, most people might say why. Uh, I like Olivia a lot because it's um, it gets multiple things. Like it's gonna be able to look, get me a Silvalli and a uh, Dawn Wings Necrozma, or a Necrozma, or a Tapu Lele and a Silvalli. Like so, you can evolve and then play Tapu Lele next turn. Like that seems legit to me. I like it. One Kakui just for that extra damage. You know, if something like those 130 HP uh, Stage Twos that are non EX GXs. Um, so Valley can only hit them for 120, you throw a Kakui down, it's 140, and it can knock it out. So that's, that's really the only point of Kakui. Also, if you have a Choice Band, which I won't have a Choice Band ever, because I don't have any Choice Bands. Um, yeah, never mind that, never mind that. If you had, I was going to say, if you have a Choice Band on Valley, you can hit for 150 against the GX, you tack on, uh... Another two, and it's 170, and you're knocking out a top of the other. But I'm not playing any choice bands, so that's point mute. Um, 
for Zygomores for general draw support, for Sophocles for that discard two psychic energies and get four cards. Um, another questionable choice, I guess. I really like Sophocles as a supporter. Um, and I think having the ability to discard the energy is going to be able to make it flow a lot easier for me. But we will see. That might be better to make an N or a Cynthia, but testing is what finds out, right? And then we play, you know, two, two electric memory, uh, two fighting memory, one fire memory, because we only have one, one float stone, uh, and two psychic memory, four DCE, and then we, oh, I have a bunch of different arts of DCE, don't I? And then I think we're going to finish off with, uh, looks like eight psychic energy, which is pretty sweet. I think I only have one of these. Yeah, I only have one uh, float stone. So that is the deck list. We are going to copy it to the clipboard and put it down in the description below. But we're going to go ahead and test this guy out on the ladder. We just got into the second part of the ladder. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, see what we can do. Looks like I was playing my Buzz Hole, Buzz Hole Rampardos last I was on here. Uh, what did I name it? Did I name it? Did I make a change to it? I didn't make a change to it. It is called Silvalli Memories, I believe. And I passed it for sure. Slippery Stall. Uh, double Fangs. Silvalli Memories. I just saw it next to Sierra's Monkeys. Um, so let's play Silvalli Memories and see how the Savior can do. Um, and, okay, so Memories. I like electric memory because it can take out ho -Ohs. it can take out Empoleons. Empoleon has a beefy 160 HP, and you don't want to really two-shot that. So being able to one-shot it with an electric memory is just better. Um, fighting, you know, just Zoroarks everywhere. Psychic memory, buzz holes everywhere. Um, so, I mean, they, they all have their, their niche uses. And of course, fire for Decidueye, Gilles Fada, like I already mentioned. Um, it looks like we're starting things off with the Necrozma, the shiny version. Ooh, and I do not like our hand. Kukui, two Sycamores, two Psychic Energies. Um, I think we're going to probably attach in Sycamore so we get an energy down in the, uh, discard pile. My top button keeps coming unbuttoned. <laughs> Stop messing with it, right? Oh, let me go. You guys like the onesie? This is literally a onesie, and then I have the, uh, the Michelangelo hat, you know? Yes, we will draw a card because our opponent uh, definitely uh, mulliganed there. So you guys see, I'm, I'm Michelangelo. With a, yeah, turtles have beards now, I guess. It works. It works. I like it a lot. It works. So. <laughs> Ooh, the Dawn Wings face off. What is the weakness on this? It has a dark weakness. Ah, oh, sweet. So we get a, a type null. This makes me want to do something different. Yes, I'll be able to retreat next turn. So we're just going to attach and pass. Questionable, I know. Questionable, I know. Um, but I want to be able to just... The type null was just so right there. So I was just like, ah, just let's throw it down and see what happens. So they did enhance hammer us immediately. And their dawn wings is partially powered up now. So, we do have some questions on what to do here. Um, we can retreat now, but it's not going to do us any good. For Bridget, we have a uh, copycat. Copycat Mimic U is here. And we have a fighting memory, which does us no good. So... Yikes, I really want to retreat, but I don't have the floats. Oh, I do have the... I'm going to let Mimikyu go down. I'd rather have Mimikyu go going on. So let's see where that takes us. What is your resistance? Your resistance is fighting, so I do not want to put down the fighting memory on Sil Valley. Because it'll just act as resistance. We want to be able to put down what's what it's weak against. So, I mean, this, this deck is going to be mostly weak to Psychic types, I believe. And actually, I'm surprised they're playing this deck because it's week two dark. 
and almost everyone is playing Zorg except for me. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and two shot this guy. With still Valley here. What was that? The fire memory? Yeah, we don't want that either. Um, we're gonna go ahead and bridge it since we have it. We'll grab a Rayquaza. Ah, uh, do I have no more? Oh, I do have more type nulls. Okay, I was like, do I have no more type nulls? No. Uh, I think we'll grab a Ranguru, Magirna, and a type null. That makes the most sense to me. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I think so. See, it's a tough decision. I'm like, do I want to get the, the psychic energy stuff back already? And I think what we're actually going to do is start powering up our Dawn Wings. So we can use the uh, the GX attack, I think. So. Ooh, I could Rebel and just get rid of this one. Is that his only energies? That is his only energies. So, never mind, we're not going to Turbo Drive. We're just going to Rebel. Rebel! Rebel! Take out that... Uh, that Dawn Wings early. I'm actually surprised I got that level. <laughs> wow. Gladion was in the prizes. I'm surprised they got that powered up. But they did. Eevee, Energy Evolution, Ah, Spion. It's okay, we have a way around Espeon. Which is Invasion Retreat. So let's see if they're going to catch on to that. Um... I think it was wise to get rid of that uh, Dawn Wings, though, because um, one of these guys set up, does a solid 120 damage just over and over and over again. So, uh, scooting that out of there early, uh, getting us up on the prize trade, um, I think was the best option. This uh, Espeon is going to create issues, though, but it looks like we can get a second Silver Valley down. And if we can find the uh, psychic memory, electric memory, of course, let's go ahead and get our second Sil Valley down. And I actually want to see if it's in my prize cards. So we're going to Glady on here. We got Sophocles, Puzzle of Time, and a Tapu Lele. It's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. Um. So what do I want to grab then? I guess I'll grab the Sophocles. Or attach the energy to... The Necrozma. We're going to go ahead and Invasion. We don't have the right memories, so it's not really worth it. So we're going to retreat back into that Sil Valley. And go ahead and get another energy onto the Necrozma. There we go, there we go. So I'm wondering if I really want to start discarding these, um, these memories or not. The Bridget for two cards! The Bridget for two cards. Uh, Eevee! And what is that water thing? Marini, Marini is what they brought up, brought in. So they have a Cosmog Marini Eevee on the board. Did 150 damage with that. Wow. We get the other puzzle. Um. So I am going to. I could just Skyla here. I could just Skyla here. But I'm going to get rid of the fighting. And now I'm going to get rid of the electric and the fire memory here. To draw four cards. We get the psychic memory. And another type null. And the Krozma even. We do not get the... Uh, we do not get the energy though that we wanted. They don't have... 
much on the board. I think what we're gonna do is throw down the psychic memory on the uh, on the benched Sil Valley, so we have two options there, and we will throw we'll throw the fighting down on the active just because we can. Question is, should I put Rayquaza or Necrozma down here? Um, both are options, but I think I'm just going to leave the bench space opened. Yeah, we're going to leave the bench space open. We're going to go ahead and turbo drive and get another energy on... Uh... Actually, this is a good question. I think we're going to put it on Savali. And my reasoning behind that is because uh, by putting it on Savali, I'm one energy attachment away from either one. So if I find a Psychic Energy, I can attach it to Necrozma and go in. If I find a DCE, I can attach it to Sylvalli and go in. So that's that's really the reason why I'm, I'm playing it both ways here. This thing's also weak to... Uh... Yeah, it's dark. It has 160 HP. Um, so which one do I want to use here? Well... You know, Necrozma has free retreat because the Sil Valley's on the board. Um, this is a pretty close game, though. We get another Sophocles. And uh, what can we do here? We know there's only a Sophocles. And uh, what's the other card in there? A Puzzle of Time. So we could double puzzle here and grab uh, a Psychic and a DCE. I could grab a Psychic and a DCE. 160 HP though, that makes it kind of difficult. I mean, even if I like cuckooed, um, I'd still be short. We're gonna go ahead and glady on here. Grab that puzzle of time. Play a double puzzle. Maybe I grab the DCE and put down Rayquaza. No, that's not enough. I think I'm going to grab the DCE and move Sylv Valley up to the active. I think that's really the best option. Yeah, we'll just grab all our energies here. I'm going to grab the DCE. Double DCE. And we put it on Sylv Valley. Retreat. Throw another Type Null down here so we can get another Sylv Valley next turn. And then we're going to go ahead and Turbo Drive. We're getting 120 damage down on that thing and powering up our Dawnwings Necrozma. So what we're going to have to find if they knock out the Sil Valley is another Sil Valley. They got rid of our Psychic Memory. They're going to Energy Evolution. There's 40 more HP on this uh, Lunala here. Rayquaza can only do 30. So we're not in a bad spot here. We're not in a bad spot here. This is going to be a close match, though. But people are going to say this is Tier 3 versus Tier 3. Um, I still think this Valley deck has potential, though. I like it a lot. I like playing it. Because they're always not sure which memory you're bringing out. So That's what I like about it. I uh, should be able to take control... Do I play any Guzma? Maybe that's what I'm missing in this deck is like a Guzma. That is top deck to the Psychic Memory. I did. So I top deck the Psychic Memory. Um, let's see if we have a Guzma, guys. We do not have a Guzma. So that's something I should probably take Lily out for and put Guzmas in. Because literally I would win the game right now if I had a Guzma. 
So I did just want to search what we had left. Uh, quiet, I'm working. Um, <clears throat> let's grab the lily. Not exactly what I wanted. Um, we're going to go ahead and Sophocles. Get rid of Lily. And... Wow, this is a bad place to be in. The Krasma. Oh look, we got another energy. Um, so we can start... Powering up this last one. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the Psychic Memory on the Type Null. And we still have Ultra Ball or Olivia for next turn, so... Maybe... Maybe here's where I should Invasion. And Dark Flash. Yeah, I probably should. So we're going to go ahead and Invasion. Dark Flash! Take out the Lunala. One prize to go. Get the Gladion again. Okay, okay, okay. They, 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 they gave up on it. They gave up on it. They're like, nah, I can't, I can't come back from that. So we had one prize left to go. They weren't confident that they could take another three. So I like it. I like the combination of Duskwing, Duskar... Wow. For Dawn Wings and uh, Silk Valley. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, what did they have in their deck? Can't see it. Okay. So we did 680 damage. Biggest attack was 200 damage. Which was from... Um, actually, who was that from? Must have been from Silk Valley. Because I don't know. Yeah, I think it might have been from Silk Valley. The fighting... Um, resistance or something. I don't know. Wait, the 200 would have been weakness. I don't know. Somehow I did 200 damage. Somehow I did 200 damage. Another team... Do I have the Team Plasma coin? I think I have the Team Plasma coin. So let's see if we can get another match here and see what happens here. We're going to start off with Type Null, it looks like. Yeah, we're going to start things off with Type Null, which I like. I like tight and all. Let's go ahead and toss it out there. And it looks like we'll be able to evolve second turn as long as we don't get end. As long as we don't get end, I will be able to evolve second turn. And it's a Volcanion deck. We don't have any water memories. Or we don't remember the, the water Jujutsu or whatever. We don't remember our water... Uh, Water skills, yeah. <laughs> Our water duplicates. We we don't have water duplicates in this deck. We get end. First thing. Get end. But it gives me uh, six different cards. And are those six different cards okay? Well, not exactly. We do get the Ultra Ball. So, we can go ahead and play this on to type Null. We can Ultra Ball, we can get away, rid of our Necrozma, we'll get it back later, I think. And, uh, the Fighting Memory, yeah, we're gonna do that. Oh, no, no, Psychic Energy, duh. And a Necrozma, we're gonna grab that Tapu Lele, um, sure, the Full Art, because we can. Um, and I forgot to check for Bridget, because I don't pay attention. Yes, yes. Yes, we want a supporter. We want that Bridget first turn. And we're going to be draw drawing dead for a little bit after this. Just so you know. First turn, Bridget. We're going to grab the Oranguru. We have the Magirna in hand. Um, we could even... Grab a second type now? Is that what I should do? Should I grab a second type now? And Dawn Wings, maybe? It's probably the best option. See, I'm, I'm wanting to grab Mew. 
but I don't feel like I can. I don't know if it'll do very well here. I feel like it'll be one one and done. We'll go with this. We'll go with this. We'll go with this. These three normal types here. Throw down the Maguna. And then go ahead and attack with Armor Press. Which does 30 damage. And if we get a Silk Valley, we can like retreat. No, we can't. No, we can't. Never mind. Oh yeah, we can. We can Invasion and then retreat. I keep forgetting that. Invasion, it's so good. So good. New Keldia. When the new when the Malamar comes out, I'm totally making like I'm just gonna call that Keldio Rayquaza. <laughs> I'm gonna build it just like Rayquaza, but with the uh, Dunwings and the Krasma instead of Rayquaza and Keldio, so it'll be like a four of basically. I don't know. It's gonna be fun. Can't wait. They might have other attackers too, like a regular Necrozma. It would probably be a good attacker in it. Attach to the Turtonator, and then gonna go ahead and bring energy back onto the field. Um, Sophocles, I think we're gonna have to play these. Yeah, we're gonna have to play Sophocles, because we gotta get out of this hole here. We get another DCE and an electric memory. Um, I'm gonna attach the DCE to the other one. And I'd much prefer to do that damage, but I did not get the evolution I wanted. So we're just going to armor press again here. Keeps us safe. We're not taking any damage from their attacks. And we're causing damage to them. But next turn, if I can manage the, uh, the switch around, which I think I should be able to, I can probably, you know, sycamore my entire hand and try to get a Savali GX here. How did they... Oh, they, they threw out an energy. Man. Talk about some bad pools. Another DCE. Um, I guess we're going to throw it on a Ranger because they are loading up their energies like crazy. Electric memory does me... Actually... Does damage against Dragon Knight. We'll throw the electric memory on it. We can always take it off later. And we're going to go ahead and stick it more. We should have a Rangarood first, yes. But I was just in a hurry to go, 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 go. And we didn't get it. Um, we did not get the... What I wanted. Fire memory. Uh, we can get it next turn. We can get it next turn, but we're taking damage in the meantime. I'm going to manually retreat. I hate that. But this one can not knock it out. I thought it I thought it could do a little more damage, I guess. Um I knew it did sixty. I was thinking it did ninety. I don't know why. I don't know why I thought it did ninety, but I thought it did ninety. My math, not so good. Obviously I'm ready for bed. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. What are they going to do here? They're going to switch. Switch, Turtonator, knock it out. Switch, Turtonator, knock it out. Ugh. Put myself in a pole there. Oh, they didn't actually. They just did the shell trap. Okay, I'm okay with that. Just a little shell trapping. We're going to grab two... Sil Valleys with our Olivia here, showing how sh useful she really is. Um, so we're gonna pop down the first one. We will probably uh, he has instant KO on any GXs. So, we might have to throw out, like, a Rangaroo here. Um, Invasion. Evolve into the other one. Electric memory that as well. Throw the DCE down. And then, retreat. I think I'm fine with the electric memories. We're gonna get rid of Magirna. 
And I think we're gonna enter there. Mm -hmm. Yes, I want to end without attacking. I think we're done with Magirna. I think it's nice when they have multiple weaknesses coming down, but they all have the same weakness, which is water. So, with the electric memory, that's probably the closest I'm going to get to be able to knock out at least the Dragonite one hit. But everything else is going to have to be a two-hit KO. And they're going to stick more here. I still think they're going to take out Magirna. Unless they... Yeah, they can't. They're not going to get a Guzma. The DCE is going bye-bye. But which one? But which one? That's why I have both of them set up, guys. Both. And a Max Elixir onto the Dragonite. I need to take out that guy. So if I had a way to do 190 damage, I really would. I really would right now. Got three on the Dragonite. This is why I need to change those Lilies to Guzmas. The exact reason. The exact reason I need to change those Lilies to Guzmas. So... If you're listening and you copy the deck list, make sure you change those lilies to Guzmas. The Olivia is still good though. Um, I would change the lily, and I think there's one other card I mentioned that I would change into a Guzma. So you could have at least two Guzmas in the deck. Weakness damage! I'm gonna go ahead and throw out a Ranger here. It has 50 HP left. 50 HP left. And we don't have to Ultra Ball for the top of Lele because it's right there. Right there. Um, we could just take this knockout with a Rangaroo. I think that's what I want to do. Let's just take out this knockout with a Rangaroo. We have a Fire Memory as well. Um, it's Brooklyn Hill. <laughs> See what we have. Uh, is there anything that's going to be useful to us here? Could copycat. Copycat might be the good option here. In order to be able to hit those numbers. Do a nice, like, reverse KO here. Um, Ranger's gonna be able to take out this, though. I don't want to throw away both energies. We'll throw away one, though. For that copycat. I already attached an energy for the turn. We can instruct for one. Which is an Ultra Ball. And we will Psychic for the knockout. Taking one prize card. Which is the Float Stone. We're tied. We're tied on prizes. Guzma! Trying to take out Silv Valley. Oh no, just trying to get rid of the energy. Trying to get rid of the energy off of him. That's what that's about. So, funny thing about this is that I really think that, uh... They forgot how effective a Rangaroo is. Really, they did. Um, so I guess I'm going to throw a Psychic Energy over here. Now I'm going to go for the copycat. I'm going to go for the copycat here. Um, but I think a Ringer is going to do some massive damage to this uh, big, big uh, Dragonite first. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Psychic Attack. Does 140 damage. Ugh, 40 shy. I mean, even with a choice band, if I had one, it would have been shy by 10 damage. And N... Ending us down to five, ending them up to five. We should be fine. Um, Cause we still have five, you know, and that's not not terrible. You get the ultra ball too, and how are they just removing everything of mine? It's okay, it's okay. I'm going to probably throw up uh, the copycat now. I wish I had another attacker, but I do not. Tapulele, Rick 
Rayquaza. I think I'm going to put down a Rayquaza here. Let's see what our next three cards are. Puzzle of Time. Darn it. Psychic Memory and Sycamore. None of that really helps us. Um, I need an energy, so are we going to get it? Uh, yeah, we're going to get it, but the worst way possible. <laughs> we're going to get it by uh, using our double puzzle to get a psychic energy. And probably Necrozma. Actually, I think I'm going to grab a double colorless energy as well since we are out of those. We're out of double colorless. And we need to throw this here. Um, we can throw this down here. And we can copycat for the knockout. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Does not matter. Let's take out the Dragonite. And take two prizes. Sophocles and a Sophocles. We keep prizing two Sophocleses. I don't get it. Sophie, why are you hiding in the prizes? He just sees hiding from Gladion, apparently. Just hiding from Gladion. We got the Turtonator coming up. He's pretty sure that we can't hit you for damage next turn. So we're just going to go ahead and spend a couple energies to get rid of this Mimikyu. They're pretty sure that that's our only attacker. It's not, but they're pretty sure it is. Nitro Tank! Really? They take the moment to Nitro Tank. That's okay with me. That's okay with me, because I can definitely... That's going to let me get my energies back as well. Um, so, by Nitro Tanking, it has to be Fire Energies. I was like, oh, is it any energy? We're going to go ahead and throw away Quaza out and keep that copycat for later. Keeping that copycat in the back of our minds. Um, we have 11 cards left, 2 Sophocles, and a Sycamore, so we have no trouble getting those 11 cards. So I think we're going to sit on our draw supporters, go ahead and turbo Storm, and bring back 2 Psychic Energies. Where do we want them? We want them on Necrozma, or do we want them on Sil Valley? Uh, oddly enough, it looks like... Looks like Necrozma is the right choice. No, no, no. We can still rebel. We can still rebel. We can still rebel. We can still rebel. So we'll, we'll put them on Sil Valley. But that is a tough choice because Moon Eclipse does 180 damage, which is nice. But rebel does more damage than that. Uh, Dark Flash does 120, but so does Turbo Storm. So they're kind of they're kind of equivalent. And they're going to take out that uh, Sil Valley, of course. But that 160 damage is going to go right back at them. Because we are going to go ahead and play our Mimikyu. Um, unless we want to Rebel here. They have another one in them. We're going to Rebel here, though. We are going to Rebel here. We have the energy. Do we have any more Sil Valleys? We do not. But if they take this one out, it's a game anyways. Rebel! Since they don't have the energy. Yeah, Rebel. Doing 250 damage. Taking those two more prizes. We have one prize left. This is a close game. We prize the Psychic Energy. No wonder we couldn't find it. So they're pretty sure they have this. They're pretty sure they have this. Oh, they do with the steam up. The steam up. They had it with the steam up. Okay. So I should have... Yeah, they had it either way with the steam up. Regardless of which one I chose to put the thing on. Rebel was definitely the best way to keep it close. 
So it was pretty close. I, I would say we, we, we held our own. We held we held our own in that whole matchup. But they're just going to steam up like crazy just to show off the flex. <clears throat> Showing that the Bright Flame does 260 damage regardless of what I put out there. It was going to be knocked out, I guess. That's what they're saying with that. They had all the fire energy they needed. Discard right there at the end. And that is all she wrote. Um, so I guess that's a pretty standard, except for the random Dragonite. Um, Volcanion deck. Looks like they put Dragonite in there since they did not have a fourth, uh, fourth Volcanion. So just get four Volcanions out of the, uh, the tins is what I would suggest. Yeah, pretty standard, you know. I don't know what their, uh, I don't know what their, uh, trainer count is though. Enhanced Hammers, of course. Two Kiaways, Float Stones, and 15 energy, because they had 15 energy. Wow. So I think we're going to end it off there, guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out my Sylvali list. And uh, let me know what you guys think, what changes you would make. I have all sorts of different uh, ways I'm trying out Sylvali. It's a nice card, and it's really going to be a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys a lot, and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good day now. Bye-bye.